You are all so special to me, and I do really appreciate this this whole experience. And this is unbelievable. And just, I thank you so much. I know it's like not very eloquent, but just thank you so no. much. <laughs>it's been a minute and I hope everyone is enjoying their 2019 so far uh, fresh beginnings you know new areas of creativity that you could possibly go down new habits you can create there's just so much opportunity in this upcoming year to basically expand yourself creatively and artistically and I hope that I continue to make videos that will inspire you and I love to hear your comments so if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and so let's just go ahead and get started with this. I just finished this commission up. I got to do some finishing touches on it and sign it of course. But this is my first oil painting that I've done in probably about two or three years. And it's my third oil painting that I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> this is a very special painting for me because it is basically a commission that was made for a woman who works at the Humane Society that just recently left and her colleagues got together and came up with the money for the commission to hire me to do these, but what's great about this is that all of these dogs were this woman's foster dogs, and that meant a lot to her. So I got to hear all of the interesting stories about these puppers, and uh, yeah, and they all have obviously wonderful personalities, all unique personalities just by looking at them. So this is Ramona right here. She was the first one that I started on and the last one that I started on because basically what I went into thinking was she was she had a darker fur and less contrast so therefore it would be easier in my own mindset but that was not true. Basically the first day that I worked I went ahead and tried to paint her face and then all of a sudden I took that paint thinner and I was like okay not in my zone I will come back and approach it tomorrow and so I just decided to leave her for the very last and of course I found out that Ramona was extra special to uh, Shoshona the woman who this was for and so I waited to the very end because I thought well I'll save the rest for last and just make sure that I pay attention to all the details so it was fun because it was new to me. First of all, I hadn't worked in oils in a long time and this is the first oil painting that I really felt like I connected with oils and really indulged myself in the whole creative process and really felt one with the medium itself and it just sort of clicked. Before I was kind of just dabbling and I made it work for me on one level but I really didn't feel like I had fully taken in just how amazing oils were until this project. Yeah, I believe this is actually my second dog portrait. Well, now it's technically one. So, you know, seventh, you know, I thought, wow, you know, talk about a challenge because fur is really an intricate thing. And it's an intricate thing to paint and draw as some of you know, and I'm used to doing people. So I'm used to focusing on skin tones and lighting and so this was brought to me on a whole other level But what was important to me the most important thing to me was the eyes I really wanted to capture the character and I feel like the eyes are the most important part of a portrait so I really really had fun putting in the fine details in some of the last layers with these eyes and um, I really really am proud of this one right here. This is Houston. I had um, sort of a I don't want to say it was a bad picture. It wasn't a bad picture at all. It was just it wasn't as big as the other pictures and the quality of the pixels weren't quite as high quality. So I had to kind of improvise with some of the details, but it came together so beautifully. You know how whenever you're just creating and all of a sudden it's like your paint brush hits that canvas and it's it's like magic. You're like, wow, I did that. So very, very appreciative of the folks at the Bellwell Area Humane Society. Uh, my son and I love to go. It's just a wonderful place and it's a no-kill shelter which is big with me and that's, that's a thumbs up in my direction. I got to actually see her reaction to the painting before it was finished. I brought it up there. I believe that was the Friday before Christmas, the week before Christmas, and uh, they were having a going away party for her and she cried and it was making me emotional too as well. And I feel like that is one of the most rewarding things for me as an artist and I'm sure some of you who do commissions or all of you who do commissions understand is that 
when you are able to create something for someone that brings them joy and happiness and you see it in their eyes when they first see the painting it's just it really is something special to be able to be a part of that so I am always very just appreciative that I have the ability to create and the ability to connect with people in that manner so I will be showing you some of my painting process I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you come back and you connect with me please leave a comment below if you have had a similar experience uh, just creating for somebody else I'm hoping to bring new content to the channel and um, a variety of content as well so that it's not just one niche it is like several niches for artists everywhere and I hope that you come back and see some of my past videos and the future videos as well Please enjoy your day and I hope that you have a wonderful year ahead of you and hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time folks. Keep creating.